A cyclist remains in hospital this evening after he was hit by two falling gum trees, leaving him trapped underneath. The father of three was riding in the Dandenongs when the trees came down, raising questions about safety in the wake of the winter weather. He spoke exclusively to Cameron Bowe. Jason Rosario is a remarkable survivor. He's lived to tell the tale of two enormous gum trees falling on him while he was cycling. A life or death moment. It's scary that I think that I might not have made it. That's the, I think that's the, uh, you know, I'll get over the injuries and I'll get through the rehab and I'll be 100% again. But thinking about the fact that I might not have made it, that's the bit that scares me. The father of three was riding up the mountain highway yesterday morning when the trees toppled over. He had no time to respond. I heard a bit of a creak or a crack perhaps and then I heard someone behind me yell tree and that was it. That was it and then uh, it came crashing down on me. A second cyclist had time to break to avoid being hit. I just got straight off my bike because I could hear someone screaming inside. Uh, climbed my way in through the tree and found him. Jason's cycling mates, an off-duty doctor, CFA and SES volunteers worked to free him. Who has got to be the luckiest unlucky man on the planet. He was just riding along with his mates. The 58-year-old suffered a fractured shoulder blade, four fractured ribs and a punctured lung. I can't speak hardly enough of the CFA and all the volunteers. This stretch of the mountain highway is a major draw card for cyclists. This Sunday, dozens of riders will go past this location for a round of the Victorian time trial series. It was the first time the avid cyclist had attempted that route. He's vowed to get back on his bike. I love my exercise and I can't live without it. So I'll definitely be back on the bike. Cameron Bowe, 7 News.